and we say good morning to the Dodgers manager, the Continental Tire Coaches Corner, Dave Roberts. What's on the uh, agenda today there, uh, Dave? GT, how you doing? Good morning. Um, we've got great weather here uh, in Glendale, Arizona, um, almost uh, at Camelback Ranch, and we've got the uh, halos uh, today, later at 1 o'clock. All right. Have you ever been late? Uh, I have not been late, but uh, I will say this. Uh, in spring training, I, I sh- sort of show up a little bit later than uh, most people do. So when you go into Tempe, they, they really uh, – draw well and there's sort of one way in one way out so i have arrived i have been known to arrive at the ballpark after the anthem which isn't a good feeling (laughs) (laughs) uh let's get to the uh serious questions here at what point do you make a decision on who your opening day starter is i i think uh it'll probably be um in the coming days uh soon um, obviously, we, we uh, named Clayton, which was a no-brainer as our number one, as our opening day starter. Uh, pushed back a little bit with the arm, and so now he's uh, out to 120, letting it rip. Feels good, but uh, obviously, when you when you work backward from opening day, there's a buildup that has to take place. So we're we're cutting it pretty close right now. But regardless, Dan, uh, the most important thing is Clayton to be ready uh, at some point during the uh, early part of the season. But you think right now? That that's that's the plan that he's going to start opening day. Well, that that's the plan, but you know, and I think that when you say that, obviously, when you're talking about him potentially going nine innings and built up to that, that's not uh, plausible, or potentially seven innings. But you know, if we as an organization decide that, hey, to him to take the mound to go five and seventy-five, that that makes sense, then that's okay. But if not, and we want more of a buildup, then we'll have that discussion as well. Uh, disappointment, surprise, the Bryce Harper signed with the Phillies? Um, no, you know, what? I think that ultimately he and his wife, uh, you know, they got the best offer and they felt, you know, they wanted to go, you know, with that best offer, the biggest commitment, 13 years. So, no, not a surprise at all. How close do you think it was? Um, I, I think that he was really – trying to kick the tires on a couple other ball clubs, uh, you know, the Dodgers being one. And uh, I think our meeting went really well, but ultimately he landed where he and his family wanted to land. But, uh, and for us, you know, we, we've got a very good ball club as it is. And, you know, when you get an opportunity to talk to a, a player, a superstar like him, it only makes sense to do so. Should baseball have a problem that Bryce is openly recruiting Mike Trout? Um. You know what, I, I think that I, I guess under the, uh, you know, the CBA, it's it's against the rules. I, I just think that a lot of that stuff goes on. But uh, I just think that he could be a little bit more subtle. But I don't really think it's going to affect Mike uh, in one way or the other down the road. Yeah, I just think this is what the NBA almost embraces. This, this happens every day in the NBA where we're speculating where Kevin Durant's going to end up and who LeBron can get to play. If I'm baseball... Even though it's awkward, uncomfortable, it, it, it's something that people are talking about. People need to talk more about baseball. I just don't know if they're going to. Not that this should be the reason why, but this is one of those things that the NBA embraces. No, I, I think that's fair. Um, you know, whenever there's banter, dialogue, conversations about our particular sport or any sport, obviously there's going to be more interest. So um, I think that that's a fair argument for sure. We're the, talking, the ability to recruit players openly, yeah. We're talking to Dave Roberts, the Dodgers manager, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. What's the best conversation, the funniest conversation you ever had on the mound? Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, you know, I, I would say probably uh, about uh, some some jokes. Somebody, some uh, infielder might tell a joke, a catcher might tell a joke. I'm not a good joke teller, so I can't recall. Uh, you know, there's times in between when you're going to go out there and you want to pump him up, take his mind off something, uh, some type of comic relief, Dan. But there's a lot of stuff that doesn't – isn't. we're not talking about baseball, which is, which is a good thing. Yeah, but you ever gone out there and you just – you know, how do you loosen somebody up who you feel like is really tense? Um. I think that, you know, I'll, I'll talk about something off the field, something personal with their life or something 
that happened in the clubhouse that day or one of our teammates and probably uh, – in the in past years, probably make a joke about Yasiel Puig or something like that. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking at the uh, everyday roster, and you guys seem solid. You know, uh, you got AJ from the Diamondbacks. Uh, you get Seager back. Got your outfield set. I'm just curious if you're interested in some of these pitchers who are out there. Um, you know, Dallas Keuchel. I don't know if that's a possibility. Are Are you set? Do you think right now with your roster going into the regular season? I do. Um, I, I do. Um, you know, we've got uh, some serious, tough decisions going forward here in the coming weeks. But as far as, you know, somebody that's free right now, I, I just don't think that with our pitching depth, uh, bullpen depth, position player, where we're at, you mentioned, I, I just don't see us uh, doing anything uh, up until opening day. Are you uh, a proponent of having a reliever start a game? Do you think you'll ever get to that point? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't. You know, I, I think it's it's a possibility. Uh, right now, I think that, you know, with the opener, these are lineups that are pretty much set where you can kind of get an advantage on a platoon advantage for that first inning. But I think that most teams now are starting to uh, get away from that set spot in the order for their players. And, and if you look at the Dodgers, for the most part, we change it up, you know, uh, JT's two or three, but for the – so I'm open to it. It's part of the rules. And if you get that advantage and your reliever buys into it, the starter is okay with his routine. And if it gives that advantage, great. But if it doesn't work, it definitely doesn't look good. Could you get tossed out of today's game for me? Um, you know what? I might try. Yeah, I, I think I could. Yeah. I'm going to give it my best shot. How about that? Okay. You got your golf clubs with you? Uh, no, but I've got – I can just – move my uh, six o'clock dinner plans with my wife to like call it five o'clock <laughs> you show up and she's like what are you doing here uh i got tossed just go in there in your full uniform so i can go see i can't <laughs> promise that okay i can really try to get tossed and i can argue balls and strikes and i'm just gonna blame you though okay and I, you don't get fined for getting tossed in spring training do you no but if i do it doesn't matter because you're gonna pay it. okay i will I, I got, I got, is, is there, is there a non swear word phrase that you can use that, you know, you're going to get run? Um, when you drop you on them, when you make it personal <laughs> or something like you're trying to catch a plane or, uh, you got a dinner plan or, uh, something like that without using profanity, that'll get you run. Like, how about you just say, you can't even spell strike. Am I gone? Am I wrong? Uh, you're gone. I don't think I'm gone. Oh. They might laugh at me. You, you'd be <laughs> gone, though. <laughs> uh, have fun today against the Angels, and uh, always great to catch up with you. All right, Dan. Thanks for having me on. That's uh, Dave Roberts, the Dodger manager. I think he's going to get run today. <laughs> be nice. I think. Continental Tire Coach's Corner. Proud to be the exclusive tire of the Dan Patrick Show. No matter what you drive, where you drive, how you drive. Continental designs tires for what you do. For more information, visit ContinentalTire.com. Continental Tire for what you do. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.